Okay, in this video today I'm going to go over how to build this uh, USB um, connector for a video out for your GoPro 3. And um, the flight test guys did a great article on uh, how to build it, but I'm just going to do a video which shows the complete bu building of it. Originally in the video, the guys have um, you soldering the resistor to the case. I didn't have much luck with that. So in this video, I'm actually going to show how I'm actually going to solder the resistor to the ground wire. So a little bit different uh, twist on it. When you um, for the parts you're going to need for this, you're going to order from uh, ChargeConverter.com, and I'll put up a um, a couple of uh, I'll put up a, a copy of the screenshot from their website here, so you can get the parts. And so basically, it comes with these this outer case. It comes with the inner connector with the pins on it and it comes with this uh, this metal casing that you slip on the outside and then uh, make sure you order the resistor with it because you need the resistor to attach from the ground to one of the ID pins um, to tell the uh, camera to go into video out mode so those are the parts that you need and we'll go through and um, show how to solder this all together and make your connector. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is pluck out the pins that I don't need. That will be um, the first three pins on one side. I'm going to point these out. So the, I'm going to pull out these two pins right here. Then on the bottom I'm going to pull the first three pins. One, two, three. And then the last pin. So we're just going to leave one pin on the bottom. I'm going to leave these first three pins right here on the top we're going to leave. So we're going to take out these two pins. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my handy little tweezers right here and I'm going to pull these babies out. that up a little bit. Okay good, so what we're left here is the three pins on top, one, two, three, and then the one pin on the bottom. I'm just going to spread those apart a little bit. Let's make it a little easier to solder those later. Okay, great. Done with that. Okay, now what I did first of all is just to save time in the video, is I pretend these uh, these wires coming off of here. Just put a little dab of very, very, very narrow solder. I'm using this real, real thin solder, just a little bit bigger than those wires. And um, so I tend each one of those with just a little bit of solder. Then I've tinned uh, just a small, I've exposed just a small part of each one of my uh, wires and um, I've tinned the ends of those too. So I basically just touch a small amount of heat to each connection and then um, they should stick nicely. Um, as you can see I've got little, little pieces of shrink tubing around there um, so that when I, when I solder um, I can just wrap those around and Put this on there nice and tight. So let's see if I can get. Okay, that's all going to work. There we go. Oh. Clean off my tip a little bit. I need to do.
Okay, I'm not sure how good you can see that in the video there, but um, through the uh, magnifying glass. But um, it looks pretty solid. Those are the first three connections on top. Now we're going to go to the resistor and the connector on the bottom. Okay, here is the uh, diagrams that actually I stole from the flight test guys from um, flighttest.com. And uh, just to show how I changed it a little bit, instead of uh, attaching to the, gr to, the, uh, to the casing, I've attached to the ground. And just found that a little uh, neater. And uh, plus the fact I had a really, really hard time um, soldering to the metal casing since it, I believe it's stainless steel, just wouldn't uh, wouldn't grab. So um, thanks to the guys from Flight Test. Okay, uh, I changed my mind and I decided to wire the resistor to the ground wire instead of uh, attaching it to the case because I had a hard time getting the solder to attach to the case. So I've actually got the resistor and the wire and that pin all lined up to attach with a little bit of solder. So let's see if I can get this thing on there. Okay. A tiny little piece of wire to wrap around the um, connector, the wires I was holding it, I don't know if you can even see this, it's so tiny. And basically use this little thread of wire and wrap it around these connectors to kind of hold it together um, while I was soldering it because it's just so small it moves around all over the place. And now it looks like I got a really nice solid connection here between my ground wire, my resistor, and now I'm going to take this and wrap it around and come back again to, it, uh, to my ID. Uh, pin. Okay, so now I've taken the resistor wire and I've wrapped it around to come back again and hit this ID pin and I put a little tiny piece of shrink wrapping over it so what I'm going to do with that is after I get this soldered nice and tight I'm just going to slide this down to protect it from touching the ground wire. That's it. It didn't take much, did it? Okay, here's what it looks like after I put the shrink tubing back down again and kind of tightened up the resistor wire. And it all looks pretty nice and tight and all my solder connections are very solid now. Okay, now to finish out the connector you get a couple different choices. Um, the kit comes with these longer connectors right here. Um, which are great because it leaves you lots of room to uh, snap around a connector with your resistor and everything like that. Or you could cut it in half, which I did here with the Dremel, just to make it shorter. Some guys like the connector to come out and for it to bend so that you have less wind resistance. And I'll show you that option first. Um, you have to slide the metal casing around that first. And we have to put something like that. And that basically snaps on like that. Okay. What I would do here is just slide my shrink tubing down all the way in the inside of the connector right there. And this is where you could use some hot glue or some of the Instamorph that the flight test guys did or whatever epoxy, whatever you want and make a bend in the connector like that. I like to use to have this um, shrink tubing on there because it just gives me a little bit more um, strength in the wires and um, takes the stress off all those uh, soldered connections. So that's one way you could do it. So I'm actually not going to do it that way. I'm going to use the full length casing that comes in the kit. Okay, so I'm not going to use that little short thing. I'm going to use the longer one. So basically that just pops in there like that. 
Okay. I'm going to slide my shrink tubing as far down as I can get it first. Okay, I was able to slide that shrink tubing pretty far down over the connectors, so that should be very resistant to stress on those wires um, once they're in the casing. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to snap on this uh, larger casing. There's a narrow side and a wide side, so this is the narrow side. and tight. Okay, one thing I forgot to do is just to shrink down that tubing. Okay, the one last thing I'm going to do, <clears throat> just to make it all nice and tight, I'm actually going to pump a little bit of hot glue right into my connector right here and make it nice and Nice and tight. Mm -hmm. Back. And that's it. That's my finished connector right there. Okay, here's the GoPro all connected to the camera, and as you can see, it works great. It's all connected, looking outside, and you can see, got my wire on here, all nice and solid, nice secure connection. Um, if you shorten that up a little bit, obviously give it a little bit uh, less wind resistance, but it works great.